Hello, everybody. Andrea here. Let's talk about the pros and cons of temping at different offices as a dental professional, more specifically dental hygienists who have just graduated. So maybe you like the idea of temping because that's the only job you can get right now, or you like the idea of it. And this is where I'm going to talk about the pros. So basically the nice thing about temping is you can pick and choose your own hours. So let's say you don't want to work Fridays. Well, whatever offices you tell them that you can temp for, well, you can only do any day except for Friday. What if you want to be done every day at four o'clock? Well, you can do that. As a temp, you can do it because you're picking and choosing the hours you're available to work. And let me tell you, if an office is looking for a temp dental hygienist, it's because they can't find one to work part-time or even full-time. Um, depending on where you're located around here, it's almost impossible to find a dental hygienist. There's just not enough out there especially dental hygienists who are temping, it's still almost impossible because they're being taken by other offices and there aren't enough temps out there. So I tell um, new dental hygienists, if you're just starting, um, if temping is something you want to do, you can absolutely make more money because you can pick and choose what you want to make basically. Of course, within reason, um, just picking a number. If dental hygienists in your area are making $50 an hour, I'm just picking a number here, um, and you ask for 55, you absolutely can. If you're going to ask for $75 per hour, nobody's going to hire you, but you can ask for more, and I'll tell you why. Because you're not hired as an employee, you're not on their payroll, so you have to save a certain amount for tax time off of every paycheck. It's not automatically being done for you. Also, their employees might have access to dental insurance. They might have other insurances that you don't have access to being an employee. So the office is paying for their insurance, you know, paying for these things where they don't do that with you. So you can ask for more money. And I'll say it again. If an office is asking for a temp, looking for a temp, they're desperate, so you can ask for more money. I'm going to go over in another video how to do that and how to respond when they're giving you a hard time, when they might be saying to you, you're asking for $55 an hour, we would never pay that. Okay, take it or leave it. But I'll talk about that more in another video. So those are basically the pros of tempting. You can pick and choose, people are desperate, you can ask for more money. And you know what? You're always going into something new. But let me talk about the cons of temping, especially being a new dental hygienist. I feel being a new dental hygienist, you're so unsure, right? You're so overwhelmed. I remember when I was first a dental hygienist, the idea of temping scares me because I would want to work for the same office to know how they did things. How do they do their charts? How do they, how do they do the checks? How do they book appointments? You know, I would want to do that. I would want to know what I'm getting into. But if that doesn't bother you, then don't worry. Temping is fine. So that's kind of a con. There's always going to be something new. But what if you're temping at the same three offices? Well, then you get to know those offices and that's a good thing, right? Some, some other cons can be, you are basically thrown into things. So as a new dental hygienist, um, make sure to ask questions. As anybody would be needing to know the information anyway. It doesn't matter if you're a new dental hygienist or you've been doing it for 10 years. You're going to ask things like, well, where do I find the charts? Where do I sterilize? Who sterilizes? Do I sterilize the instruments after every patient or is there an assistant who does that? How do I let the dentist know they're in for a check? You know, all of these things, you're going to have to make sure to ask those questions. If you're new, you might not know what questions to ask yet. If you've been doing it for 10 years, you are very well prepared on what to ask because you know kind of how things run. So that can be a con, um, but there's a lot of pros. There's a lot of cons. It just kind of depends on what works for you. Definitely do a search though in my channel for other things. I have a lot of different um, videos where I talk about temp um, dental hygienists, things like what you need to prepare for, what questions you should be asking, how much of a percentage should you save come tax time. So you guys definitely do a search. I have lots of different videos. So I do hope this helped with the pros and cons.
thumbs up, you guys. Please click like if you do like this video. That does help me and my channel. Thank you so much and good luck. Have fun and I'll see you guys in the next one.